so guys i am back and i think i'm fairly mentally ready to come back yeah it's been a couple of days since i said goodbye to my grandfather and you know spend a few days family spend a few days just pondering with myself and all the kind of sorts i think i'm fine i think i am and as i was very delighted on my I guess journey to come back and to look at reactions to see what's what and who's who and who uploaded what and what uploaded who. I found out that Nuke and Bizarre uploaded the video. You have Bizarre with version 89, which is today's video. And then literally for me, three hours ago, it says that Nuke dropped the video. So there's two videos I'm going to be reacting to today. And I got a little bit of my Google juice. He's got cum shot it in my face. I should be getting back to the hang of things of regularly uploads of other stuff. I did a poll to see what you guys as a community wanted, and people were saying two gaming and one reaction. You have Nuke and then you have Bizarre. And then you guys want me to go through Slapped Ham and Sort of Spooks. If it's only one reaction a week, what I might do. I guess that would just be my standard reaction. From now on, it would just only be horror reactions. The only times I'll make other reactions if it had to do with anything with the Doom, or if I do the Keso stuff. Those two reactions perform the best on my channel. So if it's not Keso, if it's not the Doom, then I'm just gonna go ahead and focus on just the horror stuff. So that is going to be a staple every single week on this channel, which is something scary. Lastly, before I click onto the video of Scary Comp version 89 of Bizarre Bub, as you guys can see over my shoulder, and as you can see the patch in my head, I also got myself an amazing, beautiful table mat. Like, I can show you a picture on my phone because I'm not going to turn my camera down. It's going to be an awkward angle and it's going to look kind of weird. This isn't that type of channel. This is YouTube, not only tube. Catch my drift. But that's my current setup right now. I have the card that they gave me a feel thank you. You have the shaker and you have the two great flavor, energy and hydration powder mix. Rick, how do you acquire this? That looks so nice. I want to get something like that. I may not want, I may not want the whole bundle, but I'm, I may want the shaker. I may want the hat. I may want the table pad. I'm sponsored by these two beautiful companies called 4D Gaming and glitch energy go in my description there'll be links to those websites anything that deals with the hats the shaker and the actual great flavor powder mix for either energy or hydration all that will be under the glitch energy website if you're a fan of the table mat which is very nice soft and does really well with obviously mousing with your mouse also look at my description and it'll be under the 4D gaming link. Both website, I do have my respected code, Sempapi, S-E-M-P, A-P-I. That will give you 10% off on both sites. Remember, code Sempapi on 4D and on Glitch. On March 18th of 2024, a restaurant waiter begins to panic after noticing something very strange in the video he just took. The man in this video is known as Dustin Frazier, and while working okay, the night shift all by himself, he decided Dustin, to record a video for a friend using Snapchat. This is something that he often does, as messaging friends makes him feel less alone when he works by himself. Other employees completely understand, as they themselves don't like being alone at this diner. Like any other night, Dustin records a video for a friend, but as he watches it before sending it over, Bro, I'm going to IG live. Freak out. Take a look. FaceTime in no, before freaking... I FaceTime because um, I will so arson. I just Snapchatted um, my friend, right? And I like walked through. I was. And now that alarm's going off. Midnight? 
So I walked through, I was walking through here. And whenever you get right here, you can see something behind me. And I like watched it, I, I did like a playback um, before I sent it to him, right? And um, I don't have any insurance, right? But I'm just like, I'm gonna have to do something because I don't know. Just like, I feel like I need to go to the doctor, but like, I'm constantly just like nauseous and I don't really know why. Like, I have tried, whoa, take medicine for it and stuff, but I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it really does anything. Um, why did that scare me? Whenever I go and I'm just like laying down and stuff. Like, I can't. As if Dustin wasn't already creeped out from working alone, he captures this. Either someone, or as many viewers oh believe, my God. was caught on camera. Although lacking sufficient lighting, the mysterious figure is just barely visible for us to see that it's right there. Looking closely, it appears to be watching Dustin as he unknowingly gets it on camera. However, this footage gets even more creepy when listening to the audio. Oh yeah, the whisper. Like it really does anything. Um, Play it again? Then, whenever I... Despite hearing something, it's hard to make out what's being said. Yet, for Dustin, the whispers alone were enough to convince him that something highly unusual was happening that night. I heard Play if again. If no one else had been inside the restaurant, then just what was this? Or then again. While no further updates have been given by Dustin, there has yet to be a definitive explanation for this mysterious footage. Want the answer to your problems? Wait. That's how you say it? You want the answers to the problems of hand. On the hand of problems. So. At your job, you find something called a blind spot. Blind spot is a spot in the store where no cameras could see. That's a blind spot. There's no visual point, element, aspect of anything or anyone. And what you do... My friend, just. And you just toss. Because remember, you're by yourself in this restaurant. By yourself. Emphasis. Don't ask me to spell it. But emphasis. You're by yourself. And you're sending Snapchats. Oh, me. I'll be on, they say, I'll be on Instagram Live. I'd be on Kick Live. I'd be on Twitch Live. Shit, I wouldn't be on MySpace Live. You will not catch me at a place that you know that you and your coworkers all agreed upon that is haunted. If it's haunted, either I'm quitting or that's the only two answers. And yeah. This next video was taken at a storage facility where a father owns a storage unit containing obscure vintage items. The facility is well known for being creepy, oh. but it's the contents of this unit that's by far the creepiest. Yeah, my uncle has something like that Among too. Among all things inside is a toy monkey that the father knows is worth a lot of money. Although initially not wanting to sell the doll, he now hopes that someone would bite off his hands as soon as possible. What are you Ever buying? Since having it, the stuff inside his unit would move on their own. Now, noise complaints would often be made by employees who accuse the man of living in his storage. But after setting up a camera to show that it's the stuff inside being thrown around, he captures this. Motherfucker just slumped up. You look at the camera. You better not look at the camera. Like something straight out of a horror Hell movie, no. the toy doll moves on its own. The staff working at the storage facility were just as spooked as the man who owns this unit. He believes that this is the culprit behind the strange noises employees heard. While there has yet to be a prospective buyer for this doll, the man continues to document the monkey on the off chance that something else is caught on camera. But currently, nothing else has happened. As always, let me nah. know your thoughts on this one. 
I've seen Annabelle. I've seen Chucky. I've seen so many different things that deals with dolls. I've read Goosebumps. I've read uh, the investigation with Ghost Adventures when they went to Isla de Muñecas in Mexico. Isla de Muñecas, me, Island of the Dolls. I've done all that kind of watching growing up. Light that bitch up. Light that bitch up. The word of the day is arson. A R S O Ed. Arson. What you do with that is if you have a doll like that, doll like this, um, then this is a koki. It's technically a doll. If you have a doll like this, a doll like that, or the koki like that, a doll, anything doll figure, teddy bear, whatever, and it fucking moves, all you have to do is just... That's all. That's all you gotta do. If this stuff's fucking around and walking around or moving, there's nobody there. Is it hard? Or you call Ghostbusters. I understand that they may be out of service, but you might have to use an old phone. So instead of using your smartphone, get yourself one of these phones. Take one of these phones like this. Call that bitch. Call it. Call Ghostbusters. They don't pick up. Dial 1119. They'll figure it out. Now this next video was captured on a ring camera that's placed Miss. inside a bedroom. Where Sounds Portuguese to me. Where a mother and her daughter sleep together. Like, like Brazil. Like parents, the mother had bought the camera to keep an eye on her child, who's often left alone in their own room. Gen but according to a comment nee. giving more details on this footage, the camera was bought for another reason. Recently, the mother's daughter has been saying some rather odd things from mentioning a man who she occasionally sees in her closet to saying things like, I'm scared because he's there. The mother felt compelled to watch over her daughter more so than usual. But in the following footage, something happens that's forced her to keep her away from this room. One night, while sleeping in her daughter's bed to keep her company, this happens. Just like terrified. Upon waking up, the mother immediately notices something on the ceiling. It isn't until seconds later, when her daughter lets out a piercing screech, that she realizes she isn't the only one seeing this. Overcome with fear, but not completely paralyzed by it, she quickly attends to her daughter. But even she is trying her best to avoid this apparent horrifying sight by covering her own eyes. Clearly, whatever was above them must have been terrifying. Despite there being a lack of info on this footage, the recording alone does make for a creepy video. Whether or not she had seen the supposed man mentioned earlier remains a mystery, but ghost or not, viewers agree that something truly horrifying was seen that night. I'm say. So on my ceiling, I ain't paying rent. In the following video, a small child is seen roaming around in their bedroom after waking from a nap. Go back to bed. Why do these kids be up so early? It's 7 p.m. and the child typically doesn't wake up around this time. 7 p.m. According Why to the, the fuck mother, you? they're dead asleep until the next morning. But for some reason, they I'm have trying to have that sleep schedule. Goddamn. Although it may seem like this was just a normal occurrence. Something happens later in this footage, reassuring the mother that this incident was definitely strange. Keep in mind that her child can only babble, making it impossible for him to recount his experience. This is what was caught. Ain't that a meta gear game babble?
It's only been hmm. four months since the family had settled into this house, and this happens. A voice, which definitely wasn't the child's, is heard on camera. Mind you that he can't speak yet, as his speech is only limited to babbling. Yet strangely, a voice is heard in this room. As the mother states, it almost sounds like a little girl speaking to his son. Freaked out, or she shares a young video woman, in case anyone could explain it. This incident, coupled with the footage of her son's legs being seemingly pulled off the bed, has led viewers to believe that something supernatural had occurred. But like always, I'll let you be the judge. Is this evidence of a ghost caught on camera, or is it something else entirely? Hey, I'm sorry for going Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder by going like this, but it's like kids move their body in ways you wish you can because we're old as fuck and we're close to retirement age and nursing home age and all the kind of sorts. Uh, I may be 26, but my back is 87. Y'all know what I mean. Uh, we can no longer bend and do what we used to do when we were kids and running for like three hours straight. I'm not getting tired. And all that kind of sorts. Babies, their bones are sometimes twice as many as what we have. I think the normal amount of bones for a adult, fully grown human body is 206. But when you are a freshly fetus of just out the pussy embryo, I believe you have about 300 bones in your body. Seeing how this is still a toddler most likely three years old he can't talk maybe two who knows he's walking about he has his own little pen he has enough dependency to have his own room but he's limited to babble maybe it could be a mental disability maybe he, this is a kid with autism asperger's and so on but i emphasize this could still be a young child he is still in development meaning he may not have 300 bones but his bones are tiny. They could, con I seen babies contort in ways uh, I don't even know. For example, when you look at a baby, us, look at this, we go like this and our, our hands is way above our heads. Like me clapping, you can't see it obviously on camera. Think about a baby. When a baby does that, they're like this. They could barely have their hands touch because they're tiny. Their bones are not develop. This it's growing. It's whatever. So they're way more flexible when they're that young. So maybe he was just moving about, stretching, because he's literally curled up in a ball, face down. Um, like I said, the next part because the baby. FBI, him. Come on, man. There he is. Yeah. But. You know that little Wayne song. Not gonna reference that to a fucking child. He was face down. Uh I don't wanna go to jail. He was curled up with the ball. Maybe after a while you get tired when you're in that position. So maybe he was just stretching. Maybe that could be the explanation of him moving like that. But the voice, this is the camera. Cloud-based, internet-based, people hack into it all the time. Could be a thing. Who knows? This next video was submitted by Monica Cruz, who states Mon that something pretty creepy was caught at work. She and a couple of friends work as security guards at an undisclosed location that, according to her, has been abandoned for quite some time. Her job is to patrol the premises in case anyone tries to break into the property. But after being notified of a person detected on site, she saw this. It's new. When we check the cameras, for somebody. Always looking for somebody. We don't pay attention to this. To the phone. No. Who's on call? We need to check the <laughs> one in the <laughs> office. Oh, Spanish. Mira, 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 mira. After everybody leaves, because I can like freaking hear it. There it is. Mm -hmm. A shadow. Is moving. Oh my god, I'm getting chills. Yeah. I quit. Yeah. Same. And it moves fast. Wow. Oh, look at this. Like a bird. We didn't see all that. look, look. My non Spanish people out there. Look. 
You can see the time you guys left otra vez. Yeah, it, go, it leaves again. This is crazy. I know it's a gente, güey. There's nobody, there's, there's no people. Wait. A large, shadowy mass is seen moving about in a very strange way. Monica and her co-workers mention that its movement is very fluid-like. It's because of this that they hesitated to check whatever this was. Something about it just didn't seem right. Feeling too afraid, they observed the figure through their CCTV cameras. Now despite filming an old recording, Monica states that the video still gives her chills. She says that it's the only video she has in which something truly unexplainable was caught on camera. But as always, let me know your thoughts on this one. Monica, you need to quit. All right, Monica. Monica, quit. Leave that job, Monica. I love that name. No reason. I know a lot of Monicas. All right, I shut the fuck up. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. It's mid-afternoon when a small family gathers around the table for a quick meal. During this time, the child's parents decide to record a video capturing this moment on camera. But unbeknownst to them, this seemingly innocent moment would quickly turn creepy. Janice Bouchard, the child's mother who submitted this video, claims that the house in this footage is haunted. It belongs to her mother, and ever since Janice was a kid living here, strange things would happen. The most unsettling thing she's ever witnessed was a drawing etched on her bedroom wall. The drawing was already there when she first moved in. It was an image of what appeared to be a giant bat with a wide open human mouth, brimming with blood. The drawing was disturbing to say the least. But fast forward to this day, and something happens that reminds her of this image. Take a look. Was there a giant bat? It's bomb. It's bomb? Why? It's bomb? What language? <laughs> it's too tall for him. No. Okay. No. He's all like some snow. Huh? He's really that terrible too. Let's see. Huh? Just check now. It's the phantom, my amor. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Replaying this moment, it's apparent that something had caught the child's attention. Whatever it might have been, it doesn't appear on camera. Yet it's for this reason the mother thinks that something very strange had occurred. Had Initially, she was unfazed by her son's behavior, but after watching this well, video do and with remembering the... the drawing she saw as a kid, she was left beyond spooked. She was left even more so after realizing that he was trying to describe what he was seeing by imitating it. It was the least that he could do, given his lack of speech. The hooing sounds immediately made her think of the wide open mouth on the drawing of the supposed supernatural entity. But whether her son had actually seen this or not remains unknown. Just who or what did her child see in this house? I mean, that's kind of a stretch. Kind of. He's going, who, 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 it could be anything, a ghost, a regular ghost, that like creature. What does uh, bats? I was going to say, I was going to look at how bats sound like. I'm pretty sure bats make like screeching noises. But the demonic version might be a little more deeper. Mm. 
I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think because my think is don't know. I just don't know because that's, I, I don't know. It might be a stretch, maybe something, maybe a variation of what he sees may not be the same thing as what she saw. It's almost like you have the creature of it, which could transform into different types of monster creature body contortion whatever words you know what i'm talking about you probably see something like that that's just my opinion Ooh. now despite this next video being posted more than five years ago it still holds up as being pretty spooky the person who uploaded this is known as max and while taking a walk max a and ruby he finds an entryway to a hidden sewer tunnel. Liam Max. Both him and a friend decide to explore this tunnel out of sheer curiosity. But I think I've seen this see, before. They would later come to regret this decision. Watch. I think I've seen this before. Oh man, I'm gonna cut it out. This is gonna be annoying. Hold on. Isn't that dookie water? Okay, so we got pretty far. Uh, Ain't no, bro. Yeah, we got pretty far. That's the, the exit out there. So here's the manhole cover. You can kind of see it. Uh, here's like a ladder, but now we're pretty far. Where are you? Motherfucker, it's it! You heard that, right? Yeah. Upon reaching a dead end, a strange noise is heard out of nowhere. Listening closely, it kind of sounds like someone laughing in the distance. Both friends were so scared that they instinctively fled without fully comprehending what they had heard. Mm -hmm. It was only after watching this video that they realized what it was. A sinister laugh that echoed in the distance. No one else was around except them, which made this incident extra creepy. Although encountering this in 2017, they still have no clue where this mysterious laughter had come from. It. It. Simple as that. It. That is why if I'm ever going to be one of these people and investigate, if I end up ever on nukes or bizarre buzz video, I'm bringing a sword dipped in either salt or holy water. I'm going to get iron dipped in holy water bullets. I'm going to have the brightest flashlight in the world and a few lighters. That is the only way I'll investigate anything because I'm either going to make the bitch blind. I'm either going to make the bitch burn. I'm either going to make the bitch bleed from this uh, katana sword or I'm going to make the bitch learn the second amendment. Simple as that. They even learned the American way, the Japanese way, the arson way, or the Helen Keller way. That's their options when I go hunting. This last video comes from an online streamer from South America, who while doing a live stream caught footage of something that's left viewers totally spooked. She's still It was more than a few years ago when this happened. Oh, I have, well, I have day, to like that. This clip remains baffling. That shit broke. Now the clip itself comes from a live stream in which Ari, the online streamer, was getting groceries for the week. Her teeth live white as hell. in public is something that she occasionally does before ending her streams at home. However, it was inside her house where this occurrence took place. Only a couple hours before ending her live stream, Ari chats with her audience while cutting up some fruit from her grocery haul. While chatting with the viewer, she's told that someone is right behind her. Thinking that perhaps they were trying to scare her, she shrugs it off. But as the stream continues, something happens that scares the living daylights out of her audience. Damn, so hot. It's like the fucking unknown from... Ah, uh, hell nah, hell the nah. Someone else is briefly seen. This was strange considering that Ari lives alone. Yet, it appears that someone else had been there. According to viewers, this supposed person looks like a child. 
Looking closely, it appears as if a little girl had popped into view before quickly hiding away. To me, it looked like it's going like this. Ari had no idea as to who it was that they saw. She had thought they were trying to scare her, but after looking at this clip, it became clear that they weren't playing around with her. Someone or something was in fact right behind her. Not much else is known about this clip or what occurred afterward, but even if no context is given, the clip alone is enough to make viewers unsettled. So then, just who or even what was caught on camera? Fuck that. Fuck that. You have a knife. Throw it until it hits something. Obviously not yourself, but just that to me led like the unknown from Dead by Daylight. So what you do in retaliation, pretend you're the trickster. For those who don't know what Dead by Daylight is, it's a video game that I love playing so damn much. And the concept is survivors versus killers. Great thing about this game is that there's a lot of licensed killers, as in Michael Myers, Freddy Cougar, Pyramid Head from Silent Hill, you have the Demogorgon from Stranger Things, you have Alien, Albert Wesker, Nemesis from Resident Evil. It has so many characters, Nicolas Cage, Alan Wake, it has Chucky, you have Bubble from Texas Chain Massacre, you have Ghostface from Scream, Pinhead from Hellraiser, you have Ani Rue from The Ring. The reason why I'm mentioning all these killers' names is because this game was phenomenal. I love it. It's been out for nine years, whatever, and they've been updates, whatever. Point is, there's a killer called the Trickster. It's a Korean-based killer, and his abilities is throwing knives. Uh, do that. If there's somebody in your house that looks like the unknown from DVD, become the Trickster, and then just do this. Just do that until you hit something. If you land it, then... I don't know, fix gen and power up your house and escape. I don't know. Power gen up, leave your house and escape. The entity is coming. On that note for this re reaction, I, said, I am back. I will be posting one reaction a week. And I think what I'll do is either the only thing I could do, honestly, and I hate putting things behind a paywall, but this is the only way I could actually do it is if you become a member for my channel there's multiple tiers you just want to go for the very basic one i tend to record multiple reactions in a day and there's just days where i edit two to four reactions in one day since the community have spoken that the one to ratio one reaction to gaming there is a way with youtube i could upload things early and when i schedule them instead of having them private and then uploaded I could have them basically up to watch but for members only and then public so if you do want to watch reactions way earlier from now on reactions will be under that umbrella of being for members only and then for public with it now being limited to once a week i might just take the liberty to just i don't know have things a month ahead reaction wise just take a day edit all four upload all four all in one time and if you're a member you can watch all four in probably in a span of a week once i'm ready i record four more upload four and then same thing so you guys could potentially be watching videos weeks ahead of upload and potentially months ahead of uploads i asked the community people voted and that's just the direction i'm gonna go for a little while see how it does but until next time guys as always i love your faces and i'm out Peace.